Well, good morning. Good morning. It's currently 5.15 a.m. here in South Carolina. I know that none of you are probably awake right now, and that's okay. I'm trying to find a... How about that? What if I turn on this light, too? Let's just work all this out real quick. What about now? Now I've got a shadow on me. That's too much. What if I... And that's not enough light. Okay, that's somewhat better. Somewhat, somewhat. Hope we can angle this. Figuring all of this out. There we go. Okay, is that better? Just too much light. That's better. Right? You can see me. All right, so here's my face. I just um, cleansed, toned. Did I moisturize? No, I didn't put on my moisturizer yet. No. Yeah, I didn't. I did a treatment, but I didn't put on my moisturizer. So to moisturize my face, I'm going to be using the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. This is one of my favorite facial moisturizers. I really do enjoy this. I'm just gonna rub that in so I'm gonna show you guys my full face I haven't done a full full face for school in a in a little while like actual actually try with my eyeshadow I've done like little one or two eyeshadow looks here and there but I haven't done like an actual like look look and I have all these new palettes to play with so I really want to try and do a look look because I just got my Just Peachy Mattes palette in. Hopefully y'all can see that. So I'm excited to play with that. I'm trying to get more into matte eyeshadows and like try more matte eyeshadow looks. Um, I just, like that's totally out of my comfort zone. Like I just prefer something shimmery on the lid and then matte shadows in the crease. I also have the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette or Aphrodite palette, Aphrodite, yeah. So, yeah, I forget which one this is supposed to be duped for. I also have the Bad Habit Athena palette. And the Wild palette from Face Candy, which I don't know anything. I don't think, I didn't watch any reviews about this one. I just like the colors and I said, let me pick it up and try it. So those are the four brand new palettes that I just got yesterday. They came in the mail yesterday. So I want to be playing around with these and doing some videos using them. All right, so now that I'm moisturized, I'm going to go in with primer. I'm going to use two. Um, the two I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. And I'm also going to use a little bit of the Murad Oil Control Mattifier. So I'm going to mix these kind of together to prime my face. So I'm going in with the oil control mattifier. Just doing a few little dots, little swipes. And this is from Murad. Really, really like this. It's really, really good. For me, it works more like a primer than a moisturizer. Like you can use it as moisturizer. I guess if I wasn't going to wear makeup, but I wanted my face to be moisturized but stay matte. At the same time, that is what I would use because it doesn't leave any sort of cast even though it does have SPF 15 in it. It doesn't make you look ashy at all. Nor does it make you greasy, so I like to apply this over my eyelids too. I know what you She's on my bed, chilling. I have some tea that is steeping right now. Some chai tea. I love chai tea. 
And now I'm going to go in with the Becca Velvet Blur and Primer. I'm going to do one pump on my forehead, one pump on this cheek, and one pump on this cheek. As you can see, it has like an orangey color. Can y'all see that it has an orangey color? It's like a salmon apricot color. Actually, I think they call the color apricot haze. That's its official name. And you're going to see me working this into the side of my nose, over the nose, and on the cheek area where I have pores where I want the blur to occur where I want my skin to look more like velvet because this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I'm like smoothing it up into the skin. For the forehead, I'm also going to take this on my lid. This is how I basically prime and prep my lids for people that want to know if they need an eyeshadow primer. I don't feel like you need eyeshadow primer. All the primers that I put on my face, I also put over my lids. And I feel like I um, prep my lids by putting my foundation and my powder over them too. And this really gets really nice and smooth and makes your skin feel really, really soft. But it's not like a silicone. I don't think it has silicone. Well, it probably does have a few silicones in it, but it doesn't feel like silicone-y, like that slippery feeling. Like it kind of does, but it doesn't. Like I don't like silicone primers. I feel like they make me feel more oily. You know what I mean? Hopefully you know what I mean. So I really like the texture of this one. And it dries, like I said, to like a, literally like a velvet finish. Like it makes your face feel like velvet. Okay, so now that I have my primer's on the foundation I'm going to wear today, which is the foundation I wore last night and the foundation I had on in my last live video, my first video of 2018 that's been uploaded, was the NARS Longwear, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have the shade New Caledonia, dark number two. I also wear 8.25 cool almond or cool walnut in the Bobbi Brown and a Maybelline Fit Me Matte Pores right now my perfect shade is 365 Nutmeg. So yeah we're gonna go with this foundation it says shake well. I prefer applying this with a sponge. I'm gonna put two pumps on this side. One, two. We're gonna start with two and I'm gonna do two pumps on this side. One, two. And I'm going to use my Morphe sponge to blend this out. This is a sponge I used last night. It's barely damp, but that's okay. The coverage on this is so nice. And I feel like it's just such a nice shade for me. It looks so good. Looks so, so good. It's so nice to be like sitting down. Even though the lighting isn't the best, I'll probably move the camera and show you guys after like each significant step. Alright, so I'm going to go in with one, two pumps on my forehead. The pumps are quite small with this foundation. They don't, a lot doesn't really come out. But a little bit kind of goes a long way because the coverage is so good. But I prefer a more full coverage. Like, I don't mind if my imperfections are barely showing through. Like, if they're peeking through just a tiny bit, or you have to, like, get close and, like, look, that's what I like. But if it's, like, obvious from two feet away that I have dark marks, I don't want you to be able to see it from two feet away. I want to look flawless from two feet away. Okay, so with those six pumps, I get pretty much a medium coverage. You can still see my imperfection shining through on my cheek area, but I have full coverage everywhere else on my face where I don't really have dark marks and hyperpigmentation. But it's on my cheeks. My chin is actually pretty much covered. Um, it's just on my cheeks where I have the really, really dark ones left over and um, right next to my eyes on my temple area 
I have a few. So I'm going to add one additional pump. So that's number seven and number eight to each side. One additional one to each side. Like I said, the pumps are really tiny. Again, our shade New Caledonia Dark 2. That's what the bottle looks like. This is $49, I believe. I really do enjoy it. It really has a really beautiful finish. I feel like it's a really good everyday foundation for me. Because of the kind of coverage it has. All right, so by laying on one additional pump to my cheek area, I now have the kind of coverage I prefer. I'm just concentrating on the areas that need a little bit more coverage. With that same Morphe sponge. Then I just like to make sure I go around the perimeter of my face. This is the part where I pull back my bonnet a little bit. I did a wash and go last night, so my hair probably still isn't even dry all the way. Today, I just left it in the ponytail thing I had it in. I really don't even care. It just needed to be washed because it was feeling dry. My scalp was getting a little too itchy. So it was time. All right, so foundation is applied. I'm going to show you guys with better lighting what my face is looking like now before we begin setting all of this into place. Here's what the face is looking like without being set with the shade Dark 2 New Caledonia. You can see it's pretty much like a perfect match. Shout out to NARS. All right, so let's set. I like to go in um, when I need my makeup to last and I know these are the products that I know are gonna work that have been working the best for me as of late. We're gonna go with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Suntan. I believe this is their darkest shade. I used to use translucent extra coverage, but I just finished that container. This thing lasted me like I think two years, maybe even three years because so much product comes in here. I just put a little bit in the cap. Well, let me put a little bit more. A little bit of this goes a long way. A little bit more, there we go, into the cap. And I like to take a flat top brush. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. I dip it in there and then I tap off the excess so that I get a nice coating. And I like to go in and set my under eye and lid area first. Dipping it again, tapping off the excess. And then I go in it under the eye first and I'm pressing the powder into the skin I'm not swiping it on I'm pressing this into my skin and you're gonna repeat this process in all of the high points of your face and parts where you get oily so and where you don't want any creasing so I'm gonna go into the forehead now because my forehead gets oily sometimes And pressing it into the skin is a major key because you don't want to disturb the foundation underneath. Y'all ignore this huge pimple that's on my cheek. It's finally like starting to heal and go away. Yeah, I really like this shade because I don't look nearly as ashy. I'll show y'all in a minute what I look like with just the Cody Airspun on. And now I'm going to go down here and I do do a little bit of swiping lightly on my face down here. And then I kind of go over like the contour area with whatever is left over because I want that area to remain kind of the darkest on my face. And then I take whatever's left over and that's when I go and set like under the chin and then I keep taking whatever's left over and I'll go closer to the perimeter all right
right, I'm gonna switch to a brush I talked about in my video yesterday from the Christian Siriano New York collection. It looks like this. It's not really, it's not huge and it's not small. But what I like to do is take whatever little bit of powder is left in the cap, like on the very edges, onto the tip of this brush. Hopefully you can see that it has like a flat tip like that. And I take this and I go down the bridge of my nose with the Cody Airspun powder to kind of bake my nose and to get like that highlighted line down the center, which helps to make my nose look more lifted. Like to make it look more like I have a higher nose bridge, a more prominent nose bridge. There we go. See, so yeah, I just take whatever's powder, whatever powder is left over, and I just use this little brush to tap in that area. This is also good for getting under the eyes. If you see that you have any creasing under your eyes that still needs to be set or worked out, you can do that as well. Getting into the sides of the nose if you have deep, like deep set nostrils. Getting around the corners of the mouth with powder, like small detail work. So I'm going to show you guys what my face looks like now, just the coating air spin on. So hopefully you guys can see that I don't look like overly um, ashy, but we need to bring some color back into the face. And that's where my black radiance powders come in. So we're done with Cody Airspun. Cody Airspun is what really locks my makeup in place though, which is why I suggest this as an all over face powder. And if you're deeper skin like I am, go with suntan because it, I look, I almost have like no ash factor to be honest with that darker shade. All right, so I'm gonna take my brush and kind of blend out the nose powder because there's a little bit of excess on there because we packed it on to that little brush. I'm just gonna press it into the skin. The only thing about Cody Airspun is it does have a smell. It smells like legit like old ladies. That's how I would describe the smell. No shade to them. All right, so we're gonna go in with two black radiance powders. I use a lighter one for the center of my face to kind of highlight the center of my face. And I use a deeper one for the perimeters of my face. And the brush I like to use to apply this is this other brush from the Christian Siriano New York collection. I'm gonna start with the lighter powder and I'm gonna use the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Bronze Glow. Looks like this. The number is 8606A, Bronze Glow. So I'm gonna take it onto this brush, I pack it onto this brush, and I'm gonna go over all the areas where you would normally want to highlight and to further set my lids because this is how I prime my lids. So now I'm putting a powder product on top. Uh oh, you might hear Nola start barking because there's some strange noises happening outside. So I'm going under the eyes with this powder as well. Go down the bridge of the nose, kind of pressing it down the bridge of the nose. We're going to go over basically anywhere you want to highlight. I'm going to go just like right here on my forehead, like right over my brow area. I don't really like to highlight my forehead too much because it is large. But I do like to make sure that my brows are set really, really well so they don't get oily. These are my natural brows, by the way. I didn't fill them in yet, obviously. I also like to make sure that my mouth the edges of my mouth are set really well and my upper lip and then if you want to do like a little bit of reverse contour you can pat some in this area I'm going to do a little bit of that today and this is all with the lighter powder okay so we're done with bronze glow now we're going to go into the deeper powder which is the shade cafe 8614 Again, this is another Black Radiance Pressed Powder. This is just a deeper shade. I use the same brush. And now I'm gonna use this as like a contour bronzer. And I'm gonna go into all the places that you would apply bronzer or contour. You can see I'm using pressing motions and then I like to kind of sweep. So I'm taking this in this area. This is more of my natural look. So. The two shades are not super duper far apart. It's not gonna be too drastic drastic or dramatic. It's just gonna be enough to add shape and dimension to my face in a very natural way. But yeah, I'm like tapping it in. I 
And really with this one, I just focus on my cheekbones, like the hollows of my cheeks. Sorry, my nose is starting to run. The sides of my nose and then my forehead and then with whatever's left over, I go like down here for funsies. Hold on, my nose is running. Why? I don't know. Okay. Is there a way to like pause a live video? I don't know. Okay, so we're going back. And you can like build this up to as intense as you like. Okay. And go over the perimeters. Well, my forehead now. I like to basically do my entire forehead with the deeper color because like I said, I have a larger forehead. So we don't need to bring attention to her because she's clearly there. Clearly. And I'm just pressing this in and I am overlapping with my edges a little bit so that everything blends seamlessly. Like they're not all the way exposed, but you know, you can see them a little bit. So that there are no lines of demarcation. And I like to bring it kind of a little bit lower too on the forehead. But I'm just pressing this powder in, tapping it in. Because Cody Airspun has pretty much done all the work. This is more just for color, to bring color to the face, not really to set the makeup. It's already been set with Cody Airspun. All right, so once you reach um, the desired intensity that you want, I just kind of lightly blend all over with whatever's left over. And we are done setting the face with powder. So I'll show you what this looks like. Hopefully you can see how I have that subtle contour. Like my face has dimension. It's not totally flat, but it's very natural, very subtle. Okay, let's move on to highlighting. That's what I like to do next. Um, I have so many highlighters that I've been loving. Um, let's use Trophy Wife so I can show you how I use it in a subtle way. So I like to go on with another Christian Siriano New York brush. This is like a smaller version of the one I just used. Let's see. Um, and we're gonna go on with Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Trophy Wife Highlighter. It looks like I haven't even like used this product at all because I use such a light hand. But yeah, this is her Kilowatt Highlighter and Trophy Wife. It's very, very pretty. We're going to do a very, very subtle amount. So I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to lightly tap in here one time. Let's we'll start with the nose. And with hardly any pressure, I'm going to apply this to the bridge of the nose. This is a very glittery highlight. So if you don't like glitter, you're probably not, you're, you will not like this highlighter. It's also very yellow gold. But to me, it's just really pretty when you apply it subtly on the face. It gives the skin such a nice glow. So my nose is done. I just want to make sure that's symmetrical. One dip. Barely any pressure. That's another key. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm doing super small circular motions. I'm applying this to my cheekbone now. Because I don't know what eye look I'm doing. I don't want to go too intense with um, this yellow gold highlight because I don't know if it's going to clash with the eyeshadow or not. Using really light pressure, small circular motions, and just sweeping it on my face onto the cheekbone. I'll show y'all so you can see how subtle this is. It's really pretty. It is. So I'm doing just one dip at a time, lightly pressing it in there. Going right over that horrible pimple, which we're gonna turn to like a giant mole in a few towards the end. And then I need to go get my tea because my chai should be done steeping. I also need to know what time it is. That's one thing I don't like about going live is I have no idea what time it is on my phone. I don't feel like I've been moving too slow. I can tell I've been moving like slightly slower than when I just do my makeup without explaining it. But I think we're still good on time. I keep looking in the mirror over here. I'm like, this compact has a mirror. 
just want to make sure that I have it evenly applied to both sides. And then I like to kind of like blend it out with circular motions, blend it out. This side is kind of already blended out, but I like to do, do a little bit bigger circles so that the glitter kind of like, like phases out. You know what I mean? So it's like blended. You know what I mean? You know what blend means. Okay. I'm also going to put a little bit in the brow bone area, just a little bit, because like I said, we don't know what eye look we're going to do. I know I want it to be something simple. Like I haven't been into eyes. Like I did this really fancy, dramatic, like kind of cut crease look the other day with one of my new Stila glitters, one of their new eye shimmer or their glitter and glow shadows. And then ever since then, I've been like, I'm over eyeshadow. And we'll put a little bit on the cupid's bow. If you feel like you went overboard, with the highlighter, whatever's left over, I do like to take a little bit of this above my brow, which there's hardly anything left. So if you feel like you went overboard, just take the brush you used to apply your powders. Just go over wherever you feel like you need to. So I'm just going to go over my nose a little bit on the sides of it to try and sharpen this up a little bit. Because like I said, I was making sure it was symmetrical. I feel like I have a little bit too much on this side of my nose. All right, so my base is done. Let me turn this down. There we go. Oh, I turned it off. There's level one. Hopefully you can see the trophy wife, how I plan it very subtly. Like she's not doing too much. I mean, I'm going to teach elementary school kids, so. Yeah, when you apply it with a light hand, it is very beautiful. And I feel like this can work on multiple skin tones if you use a light hand. So yeah, that's what the faces look like now. Next, I normally go in and do my brows. I don't know how to make this light situation better. That's with it off, but I feel like it's kind of dark. I don't know, I gotta figure this out. I have more time to figure it out how I can make this look better. All right, so next is gonna be my brows, but let me go get my tea and I'll come back and then show you my newer brow pencil that I've been loving. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to talk about in the video last night. So, BRB. Nola's asleep on the bed. I don't know if y'all see her. Okay, thank you for your patience. Nola June, of course, woke up when I went to the kitchen to get this tea. This is um, just black chai tea from Stash. Really, really enjoy it. Such a good, like, cold weather drink because it has, like, spice to it. It's got warmth. It's good. All right, so this is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in black. It's one of the retractable pencils, and it has a little brush on the end. I really, really have been enjoying this product for filling in my brows. This and the Wet n Wild will be the only two products I buy because this one is like $4.99. Wet n Wild is like $1.99, $2.99. This one just has a little bit thicker of a tip. This is more like the Anastasia like brow definer. 
the kind of chip that it has but to me it makes it kind of go a little faster when it comes to filling in my brows yesterday I did something to my brows and they look totally different than they have in a while but I really liked it and like I want to recreate that but I already feel like I'm having issues but we'll see we'll see what happens Let's just go through the process and see what I end up with. And I love that there's this little brush so that I can brush the hairs whenever I need to. So last night, the rehearsal I went to, which is why I'm not really tired today. Like I did not want to wake up. I did not want to get out of bed. I'm feeling very fatigued. But at the same time, it's like, I'm just excited because it's something new that's going on in my life. You know how like you're tired, but you're excited. It's like when you're first start dating someone or talking to someone and y'all stay up all late, like texting or whatever, or being on the phone. But you have energy the next day because like, you're just like, you have that like kind of high on newfound romantic interest. That's how I feel about the rehearsal last night. Like it was really fun to play in a ensemble of adults, a wind symphony, wind symphony. I cannot speak a wind symphony. Like I haven't played that grade letter, that grade letter, that grade of literature in so long, basically since I've been in college, I haven't really played my saxophone with a like professional level ensemble. So I was sight reading and actually I'm very impressed with how I did because I'm not really a player and I don't own a, a berry sax, which usually, you know, the lower instruments we have not usually as many moving parts and lines. So it's a little bit, it's a lot, the music is usually a lot easier. I know I sound so lazy and like, but I'm keeping it real. I just don't like all that busyness. Like I just like grounding, being that foundation, just those low notes. Urgh, that's what I love. <laughs> but all I have is the alto sax, so I ended up playing second alto. Start reading second alto stuff, and I was like legitimately kind of nervous about it. But then I was just like, you know, I got this. I have degree music. I can, I can do this. Like it's not gonna be as bad. And it really wasn't that bad. Like I only made minor errors. There was only one song where I was like, bruh, I'm just gonna sit out for this section. And it was just like eight measures where the key changed. We had, I think three sharps. We went from three sharps to having like four flats. And you, my mom was like, no. <laughs> That's what I wrote my mind said. My fingers were like, no. And, um, it was really, it was a really fast tempo and um, it was doing some, uh, not syncopation, was like, there was like rhythmic displacement. So the way they had the eighth notes grouped together were like, it was, it was in one time signature, but the way they had it grouped together, it was like trying to sound like a different time signature. It was, it was a lot going on. So that was the only thing where I was like, bro, I'm just going to sit here and listen. Everything else I was able to actually like play pretty well with very, very minor mistakes, like a missed accidental here and there. And then I didn't even have my own music. So I had to share with somebody else, which was made it very hard for me to see it. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with myself. And it was just really exciting to like hear that sound because I just feel like ensembles that large just have such a powerful sound. I just really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed like helping create something, you know, like create music with other people. And I really like the conductor. He's like super like straightforward, but like funny at the same time. Like he, he's like, you know, like dads. Dads can be strict, but most of the time they're like really funny and like lighthearted. And you go to your dad when you want something versus your mom. Your mom's like usually the more serious one, like generally speaking. I'm just going to be a little bit more 
serious, they have more questions, whereas dads are like, yeah, sure, have fun, here's $20. At least that's how my dad was, is still. <sighs> my mom's like, be safe. Make sure you know these people. Don't go alone. Make sure you park in the lighted spot. And then asking all these questions. My dad's like, oh, cool. Have fun. So, yeah, that was really fun. Um, I'm very interested in, like, getting to know the people in my section a little bit more. It's mostly old people, people older than my grandparents. So that's also interesting. And I think there's only one other black person, which also makes it interesting, but you know, musicians are good people. So for the most part, so that didn't really bother me. Like I didn't feel out of place, surprisingly. Usually I would feel like very uncomfortable out of place, but that was just, it was just a good time. Like it was fun to play again, to play legit music again. So, but like I was there kind of late cause I had to get my folder made and whatnot. And everybody was like, talk to me, wanted to meet me and like welcome me to the ensemble. And so like, I ended up not getting home until 1030, which is super late for a school night. And then I didn't go to bed until like 1045. And I was so tired, this is so bad, but I did sleep in my makeup, which I slept in the foundation I have on now. Just so bad. Yo, I feel like I don't have enough time to get ready. I'm behind. When I went to look at the clock, it said, I think 5.45. So I'm moving kind of slow. Okay, my brows are not the same as yesterday. Something is wrong. I don't know what I did, but they came out so nice yesterday. It was different than how they normally look. I know that they were like closer together than normal. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to figure it out later. Like they kind of look like how they looked yesterday, but not really. All right, so I take the brush and I like to blend out the front part of my brow and blend everything using the little brush that's on here. And because I don't have that much brow, I don't feel the need for like a brow gel or all that. Sometimes I do use an older mascara to like set the brows in place and to make them look a little bit darker, but they're dark enough because I just use the black pencil. Now I'm just gonna take my flat top brush, I used to apply the Cody Airspun, and this is what I use to go over the fronts of my brows to soften them up even more. If I feel like they need it. You can even go over your entire brow, like just pat lightly so you don't like smudge them. They look fine. They're kind of reminiscent of yesterday, but not quite. I am going to take this old Black Radiance Eye Appeal Lasting Mascara. I am going to like set them kind of because the hairs are kind of a little wonky. And then we can move on to just like the arch and the tail area. And then we can move on to the eyes because my face is done. And a lot of times for school, I don't even put anything off, like over my eyes, like foundation stuff over my eyes, unless I'm going to do an eyeshadow look. But I just do this foundation, powder, highlighter, and then my brows. I put on mascara and a lip, and that's it for school. That's what my go-to look is lately. No eye makeup whatsoever. But we're trying to be fancy because I have palettes to play in. All right, I already have opened my just peachy matte palette. I need a clock because I need to know what time it is. Today is my aunt, my grandpa's birthday. My mom just texted me. Thanks, mom. I need a clock, no June, and my laptop is across the room. That rhymed. Okay, so 
Let's just use the Just Peachy Matte palette because that one is open and I feel like I can't mess up as much if I just use that matte palette. Cause it's gonna take me a little while to open the Athena, but I kind of want to open it so I can show you guys what'll be coming in the future. I already showed you all the packaging. Ugh, I really can't get these open. Wait, this is terrible. There we go. I'm legitimately struggling to get this out of the box. All right, here's the Athena. Yeah, this is supposed to be like the one of the Huda Beauty ones. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Those are the colors. That's really pretty. Yeah, we'll use this another day. Wow, yeah, I really like the shades in there. Just trying to open these just so we can see, you know? Let me grab my laptop so I have a timekeeper. Okay, I have a feeling that's already like 6 a.m. I need to keep it moving. Yep, 5.58, so we definitely gotta keep it moving if we're gonna do I love, I have like simplified my life so much when it comes to getting ready for school. Like I wear black pants every day now because I've ordered more from Fashion Nova. I wear their high-waisted black jeans and I just wear a top. And then like I have a few different pairs of shoes I've been wearing because it's cold. Here's the Aphrodite. Oh wow, these colors are really beautiful. I'm very glad I picked these up. Each, um, the, what is it called? I forgot. The Athena and the Aphrodite are both $12. I got them from Shop Hush on the app, not online. Yes, these, I'm really excited to play with these. They're very beautiful. So we're gonna use those when I have more time. We're gonna use the Too Faced Just Michi Pats, Peachy, what? Michi Pats, Peachy Mats, oh gosh, um, today. But let me show you the Wild palette. I'm just trying to open and show you guys today so then in the future, it's like, you already know. And I'll need to show you the boxing and I can open it now. I really like the way my skin is looking. Like this foundation looks so natural on your skin. Even after applying all those powders, it looks like it's my skin. It looks really good. My base looks good. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. Literally, I just put it in like a loose ponytail last night. For the rehearsal. It's still damp. Oh, wow. It's still very damp. Um, yeah, we're going to put my hair back in that ponytail. For today I just kind of twisted this uh, front part because I have some shorter pieces and I literally just took this and just stuck it around like I didn't loop it any times I literally just put it around because my hair is textured it holds it in place like I don't need to like secure a ponytail and we're just gonna wear my hair like this today which I'm not mad at yeah, it's still very damp. Jeez, I went to sleep. It's super, still super duper damp. I really like the dry parts feel really good and they're super defined as you can see. Um, but yeah, so hair is done. Boom. So I got a hair tutorial. Huh, I'm still trying to open this palette. I am struggling this morning. You see why I don't really record as much anymore? Like it's just, I've just been so tired. Guys, like Things have gotten better at my school, like it's not um, as exhausting, but it's just like, I've been challenging myself to give my all every day to the kids and like really have high energy and just really do my best every day as a teacher. So that's why I'm like so tired every day. I sleep so well now, like I sleep so solid, like that good rest. Ooh, this is textured. So this is like velvety, <laughs> fancy. And this is the Wild Palette from Face Candy. I haven't heard anything about this one. Hmm, I'm interested. Those are the colors in this one. It's 
So yeah. What I feel like this is like Kat Von D kind of Saints and Sinners vibes, like with the colors in here. I don't know. So we'll use those three palettes later that I got from Shop Hush. And I use the Hush app because um, I feel like on their website, a lot of people say that these are out of stock. So let's go with the Just Peachy Matte and do some sort of quick eye look. I have no idea what I'm going to wear today. I guess we'll do a berry lip since this is kind of like the berry tone side. I've just seen so many people that really love this palette that I trust the reviews here on YouTube. So I was like, let me pick this up because I do want to get more into matte eyeshadows. To keep it simple, we're going to start with the shade Peach Cobbler, which is this one right there. I'm going to put that in my crease as a transition. Using this, it's my Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics collaboration brush number six. Love this brush. So I'm taking Peach Cobbler as my transition shade. Ooh, that is so pretty. And the pigmentation, yeah, good. There's a little bit of fallout, but could be because I'm rushing and yes the palette does smell like peaches but yeah peach cobbler is a beautiful transition using windshield wiper and small circular motions and I always usually start with my right eye but today I'm starting with my left eye because it's closer to you guys Okay, I have a feeling this is going to be a cute look. Hair is done. I already kind of know what I'm going to wear. I just got to put on a top. My stuff is basically already packed. I just got to put my lunch into my bag. It's already contained or packaged. I'm not going to slick my edges. My edges are all natural right now. They're not slick down at all. So I just washed my hair last night. I haven't worn my hair and it's like wash and go and it's natural texture and so long like just a wash and go like now. Wash and goes are just so easy for me. I forgot like how easy they are but the only thing is like drying time is what sucks. And because it's cold it's like uh. And I got duty outside today so. Yeah. I'm building this up even more in the crease. It's really, really pretty. Okay, next we're gonna take the shade Just Ripe. Oh, y'all can see that. It's like a muted mauvey purple shade. Not super bright. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm going to apply that into the outer V area and lower into my crease. Only going in probably about halfway. To add a little bit more dimension to this eye look. I'm going to have to come back to it because I have no idea what I'm about to put on my lid. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Like Even though this palette is like in the berry side, I still feel like it's neutral enough for every day if that makes sense like if you stay from peach punch like that's the only one to me that isn't like neutrally peach punch is very pink and punchy 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 okay do you hear my stomach growl i am kind of hungry it's gonna be an interesting day at school i can tell I could tell yesterday it was going to be interesting because as soon as I got in my car and turned on Pandora, Migos started playing and I was like, really? Because that really isn't my kind of music at all, but that's like the first thing that played on the channel I was on, like the hip hop and pop hits or R&B hits. All right, with the same brush, I'm going to wipe off that shade, go back into Peach Cobbler and blend out the edges of this. Just because I need to be blended. I'm blending out the edges. Okay. For my lid, 
Ooh, I'm gonna go in with the shade called Fresh Pick. It's a little bit lighter than our transition shade. I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. Oh, that is really pretty. It's really soft and buttery on my finger. Oh wow, it's coming off a little pink on my skin though. Which is not the look I'm going for. That's not the look I was going for. But you know what? It's already on there. Wow. Okay, Valentine's Day. Okay. So I'm just kind of tapping this on my lid. And it's actually pretty effective. I don't know where all of my like flat lid brushes are, but I think they're missing. Cause normally I apply my lid colors with my finger anyway, cause it's usually a shimmer and I prefer using my finger to apply it to my lid. But when doing an all matte look, you can use a brush. Wow, this look just got really bright all of a sudden. All right, I'm gonna go back into just right. The shade we used to deepen up the outer V, I'm going to take a little bit of that into the crease as well. Just to blend this look out and to not make it as bright. Okay, so now I'm just blending, going back over all of the crease transition colors just to make sure that everything it's blended. Trying to figure out what am I going to put on the lower lash line. I'm going to put Just Fripe on my lower lash line. Which is this shade we use to deepen up the outer V area. I'm using an Elf Small Precision brush to do this. Nola June, where are you going? I get nervous every time she like leaves the room that she's just gonna go pee in the house because that's what she does when she's mad at me. Or when I don't show her enough attention. Nola June. She's drinking water. See, I can hear what she's doing. If I don't hear anything, I get concerned. She's drinking some water. Okay, okay. I'm still learning how to do all my eye looks, so y'all don't judge me when I show you what this looks like. I'm gonna take this brush from Coastal Sense and just apply a little bit of that Fresh Pick shade, which is my lid shade, with this brush. Just to blend it a little bit more. I'm gonna use this brush to go into just right too, just for the sake of time. Hello, Jan. Hey, Mama. Hey, pretty girl. She's sitting on the floor. You can see her. You can see her right there. You see her. Her little eyes. She's right there. Hey, Mama. She's sitting all funny. Look at her. Now she's scratching. Okay. Do I want to highlight my inner corners with anything? All right, so for my inner corners, we're gonna put um, Trophy Wife in the inner corners. Wow, this look. Um, I'm still like figuring out how I can use matte eyeshadows. Like, I know how to do like a matte eyeshadow look where it's like bold and I put it like a bold color on the lid and like neutrals in the crease. I got that, but I'm just trying to get more creative with my matte eyeshadow looks. Okay, Trophy Wife is in the inner corners is super popping. I'm gonna have to show y'all this look. Y'all gonna laugh at me. I'm trying, I'm learning. Going out of my comfort zone. No, why are you so itchy? I already took her to the, to the vet about this, her itchiness situation. 
She had that rash. I, don't, I didn't tell y'all about that. She had a little rash on her tummy. And they gave her all this medication and stuff. Rash went away, but she's still like super itchy. So I think she has a skin allergy. She's got sensitive skin. All right, so this is the eye look. It's all matte with that pop of um, Trophy Wife and the Tear Duck. Let me see what time it is because your girl got to go. Your girl got to go. Eh, eh. Oh, it's 6.05. Ooh. I did that. Oh, 6.12. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that seems more like it. All right, so for the rest of this look, I am just going to put on mascara. You guys know I'm kind of like over eyeliner. I don't really do eyeliner that much. I need to turn this into a mole, so I am going to take my liquid eyeliner. This huge pimple on my cheek, like, I already had kids come for me about, like, that mole wasn't there last week. And I was like, mind your business. There we go. I'm gonna leave the one on my chin because it's gone down some today. But that one. So all I'm gonna do is add mascara. The mascara I will add is going to be Voluminous Carbon Black from L'Oreal for a lip color. Let's do what's right here. Kat Von D Exorcism. I really do love this color. Let me drink some more of this. I love Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Oh yeah, this is really pretty with the look. So after I'm done applying this, I'll show you guys what I'm working with so far, minus mascara. That's the only other thing I'm gonna add. Okay, this is like almost gone. But I remember when I was in college, man, it makes me sound old. I used to wear this color all the time, especially with yellow. It looks really good with yellow. The yellow sweater I could wear today. I don't even know. Mm. Okay. I feel like this side is a little bit overlined. But I was rushing. Rushing, not rushing. Rushing. Alright, so oh, this is the look. Using the Too Faced Peachy Matte Palette. Like I said, I'm learning how to do more matte looks. I'm experimenting, so don't judge it too much. Just imagine that I have on mascara. It'll make everything better. So if you want to see what it looks like with the finished look, make sure you follow me on my Snapchat because I'll be snapping. I snap all the time at school in between classes. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye. I forget how to end the video. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Have a... Thankful Thursday, a thrilling Thursday. I forgot what day of the week it is. <laughs>